What are eight signs that you may have low nitric oxide levels? My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 26 years. I'm going to give you some realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, these eight symptoms, you're probably going to be surprised. They actually have a central theme as to why you're feeling this way. And this does not mean that this is the only reason you have these symptoms, but it's a clear sign. So let's talk about first, what's the first symptom? It's fatigue. And the reason why is because if your body is not producing enough nitric oxide, then you're simply not allowing enough blood to get to your muscles and organs. And so when our body, as we get older, starts to produce less nitric oxide, then our blood vessels will not become as pliable and we can end up with a symptom such as fatigue. Number two, less stamina. Ooh, boy, how do you, how do you even interpret this? But it could be less, uh, as males, less stamina in the midnight run. And that's simply because blood vessels are not working well. It could be less stamina athletically, and this becomes important, especially as uh, masters athletes, as you start to become over the age of 40, our body actually produces about 50% less nitric oxide. And this is a problem if you wanna become uh, an elite athlete or become an elite version of you. You don't have to necessarily be competing or an athlete but the nitric oxide production starts to go down in addition to the other things that happen during the aging process. So less stamina can be a sign that your body is producing less nitric oxide. Number three alludes to what I just talked about before as males having not as strong erections, again, as a blood vascular problem. And interestingly enough, most of the uh, medications that older males would take in order to strengthen their erections are actually uh, blood pressure medications. They were first touted as blood pressure medications and the improved erections are simply a side effect. And what the drug manufacturers figured out was people could give a rats about their blood pressure. That's what they care about. So they, they remarketed the drug as an erection drug and develop the disease, ED. ED never really was a uh, disease per se. It was just, hey dude, you're getting old. And now they made it literally an ICD-10 classification of a disease and thus marketable for the drug. Number four was, oh crap. Loss of memory. I know, stupid joke, but loss of memory, last, less blood flow getting to your body. Our body produces nitric oxide throughout all the endothelial cells of the inner lining of our arteries. Interestingly enough, they also uh, are produced somewhere else as well as our organs, but in our salivary glands, just as an FYI. However, this loss of memory can be a sign. People talk about aging, but what's part of the aging process? not producing enough nitric oxide. Now at the end of the video, stick with me because once you learn all these symptoms, then I'm gonna tell you three things that you can do naturally to improve your nitric oxide without drugs. And you can monitor to see if these symptoms improve. Number five, this is a big one, high blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, I mean, come on, man, what are you doing? You gotta change your diet, you gotta eat nitrate, rich foods. You have to uh, take supplements that improve your body's ability to uh, produce nitric oxide because the more you can allow your, your blood vessels to become pliable, the less blood pressure problems you're going to have. Number six, insomnia. This is a major problem when you think about patients who have sleep apnea. They really are not getting enough oxygen into their body. So by improving the, our ability to uh, produce nitric oxide, you're actually going to improve your ability to fall asleep. Number seven, decreased muscle function. Our body in the heart actually produces nitric oxide. And as we age, our heart starts to produce less nitric oxide. And that's a major problem because again, blood vessel dilation, and there are some uh, blood vessels we want to keep healthy in our heart. We don't want to have 
a widow maker problem. Now the eighth and final sign that you may be having low nitric oxide levels in your body is actually asthma. The endothelial cells inside our um, arteries in our lungs can actually be constricted. Opening up those blood vessels helps with asthma. Fascinating. Now if you have any of these signs here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can help those symptoms and you can follow this advice if or not what do I care right you're I don't know you you don't know me but here's three things three things number one you're gonna start eating more foods that have nitrates in them so leafy greens beets arugula spinach that type of thing these foods have nitrates in them and if you eat those foods our body will convert those foods into nitric oxide it's just like gasoline man i mean if, if you want to drive the car you don't put gasoline it isn't going to run it's the same thing here if you want to produce nitric oxide you got to put the right fuel in so you got to eat the right foods there are some other things that you can do vitamins this is number two vitamin c so um, fruits that have vitamin C or taking supplements that have vitamin C whatever it is vitamin C in our body will stop the decay of the nitric oxide so if you're supplying the nutrients to produce nitric oxide and vitamin C is stopping the destruction of that nitric oxide then the nitric oxide actually lasts longer in our blood vessels now the third and final thing that you can do, I alluded to it with number two, is you can take supplements like vitamin C supplements, that helps. Also there are supplements like L-arginine and L-citrulline. Now you want to take, as far as L-arginine, 500 milligrams, L-citrulline, half of that, 250 milligrams. And for most people, that is enough to really improve our nitric oxide uh, production. So today's video sponsor is this, Nitric Oxide Flow. This is a product that has the L-arginine and the L-citrulline. It's by Nature's Pure Blend. This is actually really good because what this does is it supplies the nutrients necessary for our body to produce nitric oxide. Now there are supplements like beetroot supplements and beets, but some people, very limited, but some people will have trouble because they tend to form kidney stones. This is not a beet. This supplies the amino acids necessary to make our body produce nitric oxide. So it is very safe in that regard. So I will put a link down below in the description with a discount code for you. And if you like these videos, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, bell notification, and I appreciate you watching these videos and following the advice.